What's happened? Do you think you could take, just, can I just give this to you? Are you having a difficult time on the cattle bridge? It's just a little bit scary, yeah. I nearly fell in. I'm sorry about that. I should have <laughs> helped you with that. Sorry, like a gentleman. Good. So we've been dropped off at the stables. We're heading south. Let's switch your body camera on. Um, so hopefully now I can see you, you can see me. But Richard, there's sheep coming up the path to meet us. We haven't been schooled in what to do if we come across livestock. At Latitude, the sheep are normally on drugs. And purple. Yeah, that's one of the that's side effects you know of the drugs. Now the sheep are looking a bit sheepish. We're now approaching the remains of Henham House. Before the Latitude Festival starts, they come round and snip off all the stinging nettles and stuff. Yeah, they employ teams of students with nail scissors. Hen ham. Pronounced as two separate words. It sounds a bit like hen man, one of our favourite athletic personalities. Look, here we see a beautiful frieze depicting a naive American being attacked by a bear. So in this film, I'm probably going to call Lucy a variety of nicknames, some of them affectionate. What would you call me that wasn't affectionate, Rich? Don't know yet. Let's find out. Rich, stop pretending not to like me. For the purposes of this documentary, I might pretend not to like you just to add a bit of drama. Okay, but don't Richard. take it personally. Look at that lovely tree there. Look how you can hardly see where the trees meet the clouds. Especially in black and white, that will be imperceptible. We'll do that in post, not the whole film. Nobody watches black and white films. These little trolleys are a very efficient way of getting stuff on and off site. If you don't have a car, which we never have, because neither of us drive. And it's for ethical purposes, not just because we can't. That's kind of ringing the bell. This is where I think... I think I just heard an owl as well. I don't know if I remember well. it or not. Someone could leave here. Well, I can leave there if you want. No, there's lots of ants. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're on me. Yeah, I that's... didn't realise I didn't see them. In the words of Taylor Swift, <laughs> shake it off, shake it off. It's going to be quite difficult to what? find all the locations and stuff. Is well, that's what we're here to find out. It's really difficult. Uh, it by the way, everybody, like green park. welcome to Lackitude. Lactitude? No, that sounds like something to do with milk. There's no script. My diary is lactitude. Well, we can try. I would like to look at a map. Do you think? I think we should wait a bit. It would be nice to be able to work out where we are as we are where we are. I don't even know when we are. So we've got a few options because things have changed slightly. And I don't mean slightly sarcastically, I mean slightly around here somewhere it is literally just a field look the only look, distinguishing that's, features that's the concept we have are forests and lake yeah but i'm hoping we might recognize some geographical landforms apart from the lake and also maybe just some kind of uh, psychic link that we have with the land ley lines so i think we should head down there oh no it's all right i thought i saw some mushrooms I'm so sorry about that, Richard, Richardo. It's a waste of time, isn't it? So was... Did, um, because I've still got this thing on, Yeah. has that been recording? I'm just a bit suddenly worried that I forgot about it and I'm suddenly worried that maybe I was talking to myself and maybe it recorded yeah, maybe it. Maybe you're saying some terrible things. Yes, it's still recording. So, um, if I was talking to myself, you know, can we check and just, like, get rid of it? I feel I feel really embarrassed. I don't think I was, but I just you know when you're alone you don't think yeah, I didn't I, I didn't remember about yeah, being recorded, yeah. and I, I just talk to myself sometimes. Yeah, well, you better watch out. I might even have said some bad things about you. I've just been back to get something that we left at the taxi drop-off point. You must hate me. I'm such a cunt. So many different ways. I don't feel that way at this stage, no. Oh, thank, thank you for you. being forgiving, Richard, of me. Oh, you're very welcome, because I've dragged you out here into yeah, the wilderness. Fun, so I will be checking that footage to see if you did say anything rude about me. <laughs> and oh, um, so embarrassing. I mean, I wasn't thinking anything 
bad about you. I don't know what I was thinking of. Well, we'll, 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 out we'll out. find out at the premiere. Oh, God, awful. You're not That's seeing so this film before we premiere it, you know. No, Richard. Richard, please. This is a horrible feeling. So Look. vulnerable. I feel so vulnerable. Look, none of this is real. This is just a pretend documentary, so don't worry about it. So windy! How am I supposed to record sound? How, just generally, how are you supposed to record sound? I think once we get off this big high plateau, it'll be less. But for now, this is terrible sound quality and I apologise, but this is my first documentary. Oh look, there's a gate and a fence. What does that signify? Oh yeah, look at that. Have you no, ever seen it before? No, no, I've never, never seen that. I think that's new. Jesus. Like, it doesn't feel that familiar, I must say. Look, this is something to do with the USA. Is it a memorial of some crashed. sort? They crashed. Yes. And didn't they have nuclear weapons on board? More people died on the ground than were in the airplanes. And imagine how many sheep might have been injured. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. There's a bit of a problem with this microphone in that there's a sound delay. I don't know if that's helping. In fact, I think it's causing a feedback loop and I apologise for that. So basically the time delay makes me talk slower, which is good because I have a tendency to talk quite fast. Yes, you're nice and clear. Sometimes people don't understand me, even in Watford. As we reach a crossroads in our lives... Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. This is where we basically got to the end of our... Tether. If our correct corrections, if our predictions are correct, we're slowly soon gonna slowly soon. Fucking hell, it's a good idea to make me narrate a documentary. You're I don't Richard. know how to record sounds, and I can barely good. string Richard, a coherent Richard, sentence together. No, don't lose confidence, Richard. You're very talented. How are we gonna negotiate this water hazard? Apparently, Chaka Khan wasn't very happy when. Whitney decided to... Oh, it was a terrible cover. So, yeah, this is all tense. This is past tense and future tense. We've camped up there one year, we? Yes, yeah, that's a prime bit of real estate under the canopy. Although and it was a bit difficult to sleep because it was so slanty. As long as it's not a sideways slant. Sideways slants are the worst. That's the worst. But any kind of slant. Is, is that racist? I think this is where the showers normally are. We could just pitch our tent now and never leave and get the best. We just wait it out, couldn't wait we? Wait it out. Oh, look, you just missed PD. PD. I hope I captured it, not capture it in a I negative way. I might have done Yeah, we're not sure how well that works yet. Tip if we have cam. a little stop for a picnic, we could um, take it off There's a PD on the, path, the, the camera, I mean. There's another PD just up there on the oh park. Oh, gosh. Look, oh, yes, I, I saw him. Our little special place is coming up here on the right. Why do we call it Gribble Grove? The Gribble family were the antagonistic characters on uh, Brown and Twist. Ah! Where? Oh yeah, they're beautiful. Do you reckon they'll be there by the time of latitude, or do you think? I reckon they might have gone. Yeah, because she gets some fucking crazy people like Mark Lamar. He probably eat all those. We'll see how long this runs for before the battery runs out. I feel like I'm in the future. You are in the future, but you're also in the past. And that's kind of one of the whole concepts of latitude, and possibly even fresque vu, <laughs> which is a thing. I think it might be pronounced fresque vu. I just read it in Catch-22. Did you perform? I don't think you performed at that first one. And weren't you just there to Yeah, I did. No, don't you remember the Black Cylinder Gallery? Do I? And I had that little pocket printer printing labels and the rucksack with the band aqua's name on it and we've given people the wine. wine yeah yeah i remember you doing that basically in this documentary me and lucy brigginshaw are not purposefully unreliable narrators but we don't have computers for brains oh. it's possible that some of our memories might be wrong if you can call memories wrong because what is memory? All memories are wrong. Look where we are, Rich. We've reached an impasse. We've reached the cattle grid. The adventure game. Yeah, how are we going to do with well, the Well, we'll just go along with like... these, and then we'll just t keep turning around. I'll be all right with the wheels. It's going to take ages. I'll just carry it. Well, are you sure? Yes, oh, look. Look what I'm doing. I hope you videoed that. <laughs> that hope, was really impressive. Thank God you documented again, that power. And look where we are.
And this is normally the entrance this is, to this the... This is the Latitude Festival. The, this is like the kids' this area, is it. isn't it? There's a little path yep. that goes up there. The theatre tent's normally yeah. somewhere over here. And beyond there, the faraway forests. And look, this is a bit strange. It's weird, isn't it? It's so boring without all the stuff. It's so boring <laughs> without all the stuff. Is it kept like this all year round, even before the Latitude Festival? Did it look like this? In order to find out, we're going to have to go back in time. And that's beyond the remit of this documentary for budgetary purposes. But if this one goes well, Latitude 2, yeah, it's just nettles, isn't it? Not be able to go in it, Richard. Just John Nettles. I reckon there's a way in. But you're right, I don't want to have to traipse through that. Do you like my shoes? Beautiful forest. Yeah, I do like your shoes, Rich. Thanks. It is gorgeous. One year, I installed CCTV cameras to all these trees. I'm over-exaggerating some of these trees. And you know the kind of paranoid state you can get into a forest when it's night time and you've maybe had a couple of ciders? People were furious about their own privacy being invaded and they were knocking them out of the trees with hammers. I was delighted. If only that would happen in London. Some of you might not know this, but every year they have a different theme artistically. A lot of the work that I've done has responded to those themes in case you think the work's a bit weird. Have you ever seen this before in your life? No, I've never seen this before. I think this is new or they cover it up with a secret Tent. That's weird, isn't it? Like one of those big marquees that looks like it's full of children having fun. Might just be Tra built around trapping this. Trapping them to fall into a dungeon. Do you remember the year that Foz Foster, he fell into a hole, I think it was behind Cabaret, dressed as a clown in white face. He had a saw, because you know he plays the saw. Yeah. This is the great Foz Foster uh, from the band David Von His Spirit Wife, amongst other things. And um, one night, I think we found him in a ditch. He'd fallen down in the dark. The lighting that year at Latitude, it was the first year ever the pro. He got out of that hole and continued with his performance. Beyond the lake, some sheep are normally positioned. Lots of things happen in the forest, such as fucks biz. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. We had small but appreciative audiences for Fuck's Biz. Yeah. The radical feminist tribute to Buck's Fizz. That idea came to me in a dream. All the best ideas do, don't they? Really? Well, yeah. here's the hill that leads up to the Cabaret Arena. The Literacy Saloon is often somewhere near here. And there's normally some kind of outdoor mobile disco performance or some kind of slightly autonomous shed-based work. And then the poetry tent is just over there. Oh my gosh, look Shin. at this. Bitter shern. Isn't it? Oh lord. Look at these massive trees. I don't remember all of these big trees being here. Are some of these new? Could they be new? And in the far distance, the glistening lake. We could go in it. Then comedy's about there. Oh, fuck. He's new. Why is there all this new stuff everywhere? Hey, maybe that's Hector. We've not spoken about Hector yet. It looks like a ghost. I think we might be seeing our first ghost of the documentary. We'll go near to him later when it's dark, because he'll be asleep then. Hector is not the groundskeeper, as I mistakenly thought. He's actually the son of an earl and he basically runs around like he owns the place. Music and film arena are over there. One year there was a beautiful hotel just here. Do you remember, it looked like a brutalist concrete hotel from the 1960s and it did the best cocktails. And they were very cheap and they were served by they two were. beautiful twins. No, comparatively, they were, they were the, really cheap for what they were. Like something out of The Shining. So this is where everybody walks in. That's the bridge. It looks like nothing. Everything gets trimmed, doesn't it? It's like when you're going on a special occasion and you trim your pubes. I've got an animal on me as well, look at that. Hello. Our first friend, Lucy Brigginshaw, went to Tesco's earlier. Look what happened when we turned it off. That's cool. I can see a man. 
happy Hector. Mm. Look, look the at man. the man. Yeah, I'm going to video the man. Where did he go? Hector, he's hiding from us. It might have just been an illusion. Because of the way that the hills are shaped, there's like some little valleys. Sometimes when you're back at the campsite, you can hear what's going on on the main stage. That is true, Richard. Who's that band? Because I heard them once, they're really good. And I can't remember what they're called. Um, they're kind of drum and bass band. But we're singing. Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I just can't can build. you give me any more um, clues? Well, no wonder Tim Henman's such a good snooker player when he gets to live <laughs> in this garden. Very good. That's good. Do you want an espresso martini? It's beautiful, Richard. Thanks for bringing me here. Thanks for coming. Thanks for bringing me here all the times that you've brung me here. You can press my button if you can help. Help a friend. Help a friend. I love the reeds. They're lovely. Susanna Reed, John Reed. Reed. Stop fucking up my life. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to have a normal life where I talk to my friend in a normal mm. way. Mm. Well, I'm sorry, but that's Why never, to never going to happen. We'll bloody say something now about it. It's a really lovely thing, this. Yeah, it kept the wine uh, it looks quite really reasonable. Nordic. Well, look, we've had a very Nordic afternoon of our Lear demo and listening to Ski Sunday and also me telling you that I've got to go to Finland. Is Finland Nordic? I don't know. Is Maybe. That's a bit racist to say that. I don't know. I'm just. I think I'm it's probably. About that for the first time. Does yeah. Mean well, anyway? this is good. I hope this documentary does make people think about certain issues for the first time. Well, who can guess what this. Not guess. You can know. What is this year? Yeah, it's a great idea. And we don't know the answer to this question, but we'll put it along the we'll bottom sure of the screen. We'll be sure to find out. Personally, I think this is from 2007. Yeah. We had a toothbrushes in it. I mean, I feel like it was Aradine Road. It's a mystery. All right, we'll find out. I reckon it's from more like 2010. Oh, God. Why? Because the sun's gone. We'll be back. It's just behind a cloud. Don't get upset about clouds. Are you going to make me carry the gimbal again? Yeah. All right, take the gimbal. Oh. Come on. I'll I'll take the trolley if you I want for a bit. Now. What? I haven't got a hand free. Well, give me the fucking trolley then. Take the fucking gimbal, you fuck. I knew you were going to get annoyed with me. I'm not annoyed with you. I'm just being know, a bit I'm sweary. Swearing at me. Have you ever tried to come here with a kind of airline style suitcase? No. The lake stage is Rabbit, just about but there, but I would but say. He's, but he's running. Where you never see them in latitude. No, they're, they're, too, they're scared too scared of all the musicians. Although I did have a dream once that I took Petey to latitude. For those of you that don't know who Petey is, Petey was Lucy's pet rabbit. Insert picture of Petey. He's left our realm now but he did grow to a ripe old age for a rabbit much older than anyone predicted mainly because he was very stupid and he didn't realize he was hey, supposed Richard to die now. i'm saying it helped come on that's not a very nice thing he didn't realize he was supposed to die i think it's a lovely way to think kind about the world is that to say? oh it's just my interpretation it's not very nice to yeah. criticise someone's interpretation, is it? I don't want to sleep in a tent with you tonight anymore. We're we're falling out. I'm going to have to sleep. Is this in just the taxi for the rank? Is this just for the documentary? What is documentary? What is life? We don't know anymore. We're blurring the lines. Yeah, that's what with this project gimbals. is supposed to interrogate a little bit. But I think you're interrogating it a little bit too much. Don't do that. Don't fuck the gimbal up. As we approach that's two a gimbal, more that's the point of a gimbal. witchcraft be, monuments. Be, look, Petey on the path. Petey once so again. happy here. It's the most beautiful park. I hope they don't ruin it with a music festival here. What about Nature. we could just have a new festival called the Rabbitude Festival? I would go to that. How much would you pay? There's a sinister presence on the bridge. It's a bit like a ghost. It might be a goat. You can almost see him, but you can nearly also not see him. Do you know what I mean? So many fucking ghosts. Day ghosts as well. That's pretty unusual. Well, those are the scariest kind. I said day ghosts, not day goes. I'm not being racist. The eye ties are the Italians, but what's a wop? A wop's Italian as well. Oh, 
So a day ago. No, I'm saying oh. Oh right. I'm saying no because I had something. That's something I'm after. You are you disagreeing with me? Are you? Lucy's getting a bit. I get really belligerent. Ever since you've had that gimbal, you've got all belligerent. Because I feel like, like it's a weapon. You're like Alan Sugar now. You're suddenly turned into Alan Sugar. Now, where are you now? That's the main entrance over there. Poetry, literary, children's area, faraway forest, cabaret, comedy, film and music. And then we're heading up the hill towards the obelisk arena, which I think is about there. And let's not forget the BBC... The what about Lake Stage? That's called Lake the Stage. La yeah, the Lake Stage, the open. We don't one. even know what the bloody what no, the bloody the lake talking stage about. Is the you? open air one. No, what's the big one where you we saw Fat Boy Slim and then you yeah. got all like you had this revelation and you just. Kept I finally saying, understand I house it. music. I get it. Whoever that lady was. I get it. Who put those funny sweets in my mouth? She was a goddess. It's the shock of the length of the grass, which is <laughs> the most palpable change for me. That and the rabbits. Yeah. As we approach the obelisk arena, the only time I've seen it anything as empty as this was the year I did Super Jumbo. This is us hurtling down the runway. Now! <laughs> I had so many props that year that I had to get a lift. It looks so much smaller, this area. Well, there's no barriers now, there's no boundaries. Politically, if only it were thus. I'm not going to mention Brexit. The scale changes when it's empty. Look, we're almost at the trees. Like, how can there be such a big arena else? here? Well, I've never seen that. It looks just like a bunch of porter cabins to me. No, 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 to the right. Oh. Yeah, I have seen that actually. I've seen I've that. Never seen yeah. Guest camping used to be over there. You get a lot of sound pollution. I'm at the Latitude Festival. The sound check will start at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's like Psyops. I know now what the Branch Davidians must have felt like at Waco. To be fair, we didn't quite realise how close we were to the main stage. Oh, come on. Are sound men not embarrassed about themselves? Leave the man for us. <laughs> As what? There's often seating here for people with uh, trouble standing. Troubles? This Troubles. This is a hallowed area, isn't it? This is a hallowed ground. But the one year I was here with Sandra and I got a lift home, I didn't have to leave as late. We managed to get into the arena because the camping was just over there and everyone had gone and it was a bit of a mess. I found a copy of The Guardian Saturday Review uh, amongst the detritus. In fact, most of this detritus is supplements from The Guardian Saturday Review. But clearly it was all returned to nature in no time. Look at the square footage of this prime real estate. How long is it going to take to trim this with a lady shave? What surprises me, I suppose it's not a surprise given the length of the grass, is that there's no real evidence of any structures ever having existed. And it really shows, doesn't it? Shows like, how life springs up. But Is some ancient civilizations from that millennia ago still have evidence. I think we're almost backstage. There's a bit of discoloration over here, which is probably where the drummer goes for a wee wee during the acoustic numbers. What's happened here? Look, this is the first evidence of temporary human intervention that we've seen. That's think that could the be the stage. stage? It doesn't give you much space behind, but maybe you don't, maybe don't, need. don't need it. And in that case... This must have been where everybody used to have all that fun. Who's that terrible Australian band that we saw once? They were trendy, but not very good at playing their instruments live. <laughs> the best band we ever saw live here? Probably... Uh, probably Pet Shop Boys, isn't it? Yeah! 
It was a really good gig. I became a fan of the stage designer after that. Look at this, these little runnels. Runnel? What is all the runneling about? What does it how, mean? How can that be? What Why are the runnel? little pebbles arranged in little rows like that? What do they want us to, to what is see? That? Is that, it might be for acoustic reasons. Pebbly runnels. That's what I'm going to call my daughter. In a way... <laughs> I like I that we just like jumped in front of the camera I there. could say that Quite. I've been on the obelisk stage. That is what the whole point of this is. As performance artists, primarily, we don't get access to behind the music stages. So that this, for us, us, is pretty much a new experience. I used to know the machine. Well, this is just like a, a gateway. I can imagine Nazis living in there. I can imagine that too, if pushed. If pushed. Can imagine that? Well, let's hope we never get pushed by a Nazi. Thanks, Rich. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's all right. Feel free to jump in. Good, lovely, enticing, leafy, mm. alcovey mm. avenue. Mm. That's the word. It's like a gaping mouth. Imagine isn't it? driving your vehicle through that. <sighs> Wish we had a vehicle. Can you imagine how much easier this all would have been? A wide vehicle. Yeah, but <laughs> if it was easy, it then it wouldn't be interesting. It might not be interesting anyway. Oh, who was that nice boy who did A Night of Jay Aston's? That was one of the best things I've seen. We still haven't seen Hector. Or have we? I'm really in love with this place. Well, I always was when it was Latitude Festival. Oh, no, I've just noticed that that tent has got a it's cable got tie on it. Cable ties, that's what I was just saying. You've not got a thingy. Uh, scissors. <sighs> a little bit of drama. Right. So... so we're basically camping our tent in the middle of the obelisk arena. It's frowned upon normally. Yeah. Look at this. This is the most subversive thing I've done since 2013. It's got to that point in the evening where the sun is setting. Lucy's just finishing off the tent. Look, Richard, there's something in the air. I think it's the Americans. I know. Oh, not again. Crash. Leave it be. There, I think, is the back of the comedy arena. Oh, yeah, well, we've had a lot of our we've bestest had, like, times. What are your key memories from that part? Janine Groffalo's the... wine. One of my favourite acts. Gene Groffalo's Wine, 2009. Truth About Cats and Dogs, Reality Bites. She was doing a stand-up comedy gig. When you're on stage, quite hard to hear the audience, so they might be having a wonderful time. So it's always a good idea to go out there, get a general sense of the space acoustically. Groffalo, I don't think, did that. So she started telling some jokes. She felt like no one was laughing at all. Said a few things and then just said, oh, I'm just going to go. And everyone was a bit like, what? Yeah, what? We saw her in the caravan. Yeah. Afterwards. And around. we reassured her, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, you can't remember any of this, obviously. Yeah, yeah we said, hi, Janine. I said, She's I'm a like, big oh, fan no, of your awful, work. It was awful. Oh, no. And you're like, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. People, I said, you know, the acoustics in there are really bad. It. Yeah. And she's like, oh, no, I just, I don't know what she said. But I'm like, I've got all this wine. It was such oh, a pleasure going, to meet her. I don't her. want it. No, you might as well just have it because I'm leaving now. I'm going. She gave us all her said, wine. Are you sure? Are you sure, Janine? Yeah, you might as well have it. You know, I don't want it. Wow, that sounds oh, just delighted. like her. And it's bringing back a lot of memories. We uh, had the wine. Romy and Michelle's high school reunion. Basically, Janine was really nice to us because she'd just done a terrible gig, and it's true. We were nice to her, too. We said, you know what, Janine? You Artists. are good are often at their most vulnerable when they've just come off stage having done a bad gig or what they think was a bad gig. If someone comes up to them and says something vaguely nice, you'll do anything for them. Gross, Richard. And that's basically the basis of my new dating app designed for the Edinburgh Festival. It gets all the data from the Edinburgh Fringe website. It shows you where the venue is, what time their show ends, how badly the reviews have been going. The mound is going to be called. It's designed to be a bit contentious. It's a very strong idea. Mm. Strength is not always good. What happens if we go into that deep, dark, foresty, scary entrance to the forest over there? Yeah, we could have a little look. Do you ever have that nightmare that you're going on stage and you haven't got any material? There's yes. no show. Yes, yes. 
I have that a lot, and I think it came true once or twice at Latitude. Do you remember dogging for gold? Going for gold, going for gold. It was basically a one-joke show, if that. <laughs> I just started improvising. We haven't got time to sing the Star Trek lyrics. I oh, know, we'll, we'll do that next year. We've never managed to figure out how to do dogging because neither of us drive. Beautiful sunset in oh, trees. Oh, that is well fair. Can you get that? Yeah, I can, look. Wowzers. Cool, let's find the ghost. Do you remember who that annoying comedian was who was drinking loads of Red Bull before he went on stage? Latitude 2006 was like the test year. They didn't have that many people. I've got some footage. It's just you and a small child dancing in a huge empty shed. That was year one. In a way, it was the best latitude because we had the run of the place. It was like Westworld. It's beginning to get a little bit dark now, so we thought we'd go and have a look at the ghost. I think he's... They might cover him up with something. What's going on here? It's the naive American again. There's a lot of American influences at Henham Park. He's a tree. He's a tree. So they're not going to move that. That must always be there. Wow. This is where cabaret normally is. I think it's amazing. It's quite stoic. Woo! Yeah, there are ditches and hazards everywhere. I've broken my. I just put my foot down a big rabbit hole. Bloody rabbit! Could have told me about that, mate. Well, it was just along here, I suppose, wasn't it, at the yeah, artist's bar? Yeah, about there. I'd never met Becky Darlington before. I was just chatting about. We just met um, her. It was I, think, I think things. I just came out of the blue and said, I bet I can guess what song was at number one the day you were born. Because I knew mine was Wuthering Heights. And then I think Becky probably said that I she didn't know, I what, know what mine is, was said. hers. And Richard said, oh, let me try and guess. Yeah. He didn't know how old she was. Didn't know how old she was. Didn't know her date of birth. Born. Didn't know what year she was born. Didn't know the date of birth, the year. Nothing. Nothing. And Richard just thought about it for a bit and then just said... Can't Hurry Love by Phil Collins. Can't, he said, was it Can't Hurry Love? And she said, I don't know. Don't know. I've no idea. We Googled it. Found out what her birthday was. It's bloody right. You Can't Hurry Love by Phil Collins. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? What are the statistical chances? Because I think Richard's got... That's one of about five times that, that I've been up. really, really psychic. When you sing a middle C, that's another time when I, you blow my mind and I think <laughs> Richard's really got special powers. I've, and I'm, I bet you you could I'm just sing one nervous. right I'm now. I'm too nervous to do Richard, it. Richard, try it, because if you get it wrong, we can always cut it out. Uh, See, I bet you that's right. I'll change the pitch if it's I wrong. 99% of the time it's been correct and it blows my mind every time and it terrifies me more than anything else. No, don't be scared. You're connected. Look at that. Your hair's the colour of that beautiful sky. Christ, I wish it were. That's like a sky from a Grand Theft Auto game set in the 80s in Miami. Night, Richard. Oh. See you again in the morning, yeah? All oh, right. You're taking it seriously about me sleeping under the stars, are you? Don't All you have right. your own tent? I thought we might be able to share. <laughs> Richard, you look like some kind of... Ogre. There's nobody here. Well, let's go and chase right, around a bit. Let's have a look at the day. <laughs> so we're just approaching yeah. the forest now where lots of amazing things have happened, such as a caravan where I had my hair cut by Ella and Nikki. The next day, I was driven to Brighton where I performed in my Olympic torch, still had feathers in my hair. Might not have convinced everybody that I was an official torchbearer. So this is like up to our waist. The death of social housing happens here. I said that piece requires a horse-drawn hearse and a coffin disguised as a block of council flats. And Tanya said, well, look, just do it without all that stuff. We just went down to the lake and set fire to some little cardboard models that we'd been making pre-Grenfell. I've not done that performance since. Well, I've changed the ending so we don't set fire to them anymore. This is where I first saw Eggs Collective's Get Around, a show that I've subsequently seen about 20 times. I've got the loyalty card. Swivel Olympics happened here. Swivel Olympics should never be done on a gradient. We learnt that at Latitude. Very few casualties, I must say. Kate was the winner. She was a record holder for quite a while, and we met Lynn that year. Normally there's a fence between here and that little road, but I think it was about here that the Live Art Centerville repute was installed. And those who saw it, I think, found it quite beguiling. I spoke about it at South by Southwest recently and it went down well there. I plan to expand the size of both the tent and the orgy. Maybe it will show up this year at Latitude.
you just never know anymore what's just a tent and what's a piece of experimental performance art. Just a bit of peace, you know, without the documentary, just, just to be here, you know? It's so peaceful. And it's so beautiful. Forget all this. Um, yeah, Richard, that was bollocks. That was a bit of bullshit there, a bit of chronological bullshit. You want me to hold your booze yeah, for a minute? Yeah. There yes, you go. please, Richard. We watched Ed Axel. That was my first time seeing Ed Axel. <laughs> Loved it. Oh, everyone go and see Ed Axel. A C Z E L. Yellow Postman. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought it was terribly sweet. It so. predated onesies. It was quite avant-garde in 2008. Las Vegas was there. Oh, what a year that was. <laughs> and we were here, and Las Vegas were there on the main stage. There. there wasn't a great big audience, and we were shocked because they were very big at the time. She's gone, she's gone. Oh, 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 oh. And their audience had gone. So we had quite an intimate experience with Las Vegas, the lovely men. What else you got? OMDMA. We won't OMD. go into that too much, but we went to see OMD. We'd had some MA and it was amazing. Louise Wenner. Oh, wow. That was a dream you come true. Like, I often say never meet your heroes, but I was a big sleeper fan as a teen. She was doing a book signing in the literary salon. It was a risky th ask. I went up to her and said, Louise, please will you sign my knee? You had a glittery face, a very glittery I... face, and I think for that reason she was willing to oblige you. It went really well. And she said I was cute, and did I kiss her on the cheek? Or am I getting confused with Chaka Khan? I think there was definitely some kissing. I didn't wash my knee for weeks. 2012, yeah. I yeah. didn't go. Oh. She's not mid-flow, that's hard to do. She <laughs> must... the best thing I've seen in a real time. Good afternoon. Yay! I want to get in it, I want to get in it. But you could, like, still kiss her through that little hole. You should make homophobic work. <laughs> yes! Oh, We're going to sell this conversation to the Arts Council. Well, let's move swiftly on to 2013 then. Richard did a show in drag. Yeah, because I'd just come back from Bangkok and it changed my lifestyle. Yeah. It was about cause and effect. Jenny Edbrook's bra. Oh, that was a great performance. Uh, Richard was directing Movies of Dreams. Oh, yeah, we took that project to Hong Kong, where it was a big success, even though it was in a monsoon. Craftwork. Mm. Bryony's show. Seven day drunk. That was the first time we've passed for ages. And then you didn't come for a couple of years. Yeah. Because we broke up. Yeah. Do you think the fact that we got to go to Latitude every year was one reason that you didn't break up with me for so long? Probably yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we did break up quite soon after Latitude. Yeah. Do we want to? Yeah, please. Um, Dollywood, Dicky Bow, Ida Bar, Frank Chickens, Catherine Jenkins. <laughs> Heard but not seen. There was a man who was high fiving people from the front of the stage area before Jarvis, and everyone knew who he was except for me, and I still don't know. I've no idea who that is. I'm gonna try and find out. Aswad have never played here, which upsets me. Who would you like to see on stage in one word? The Beatles. Good. Robin and Blur was amazing. That was the sad year that Lucy wasn't at. Robin was really good. She had cardboard legs. I'd just broken up with McCormick. I got quite emotional in Robin, who we both really liked. And Blur were on, on the obelisk arena, so I was going back and forth, and it was quite powerful. It all ended in tears that year. I'm glad you missed that one. Aww. Remember the synthesizer medley? <laughs> I've been trying to get Latitude yeah. to reenact that. The Film and Music Arena, which is about there, that's where the poly demo happened, in which people made their own banners and we all protested through the park. There's a bunch of enthusiastic but mainly white middle class student boys. And plagiarismo. He was a lot more supportive than that. The, uh... Do you remember when I accused Dave Gorman of plagiarising me? 
Did you? Yeah. <laughs> he denied it. I don't remember. Oh, good. I'm glad it's embarrassing. We've already spoken about our enjoyment seeing Adam Buxton here many times and Sparkle Motion. Hi, I think Adam, this. If you're watching. He's not really watching. Like He's not watching. Sparkle Motion, I think I first met here and I worked with them a few times after that. They were great and I miss them. Please come back to us. The theatre's to... Whoa! Richard, that was a hole. That's a big one. Oh, is your ankle okay? I'm okay. I, I hit myself in the face with my own camera. Oh, that was an unfortunate moment. Hey, there's another one. And I think there's another one coming up here, so watch out. So we've both sung at Latitudes in various capacities, but never on the obelisk arena. That's the arena that we're still yet to conquer. And I did ask them about that once when Live Art Aid happened, but they said no. So we're going to sing a bit of karaoke here. Oh, good. <laughs> Lucy, do you want to sing a song? We've got a couple of minutes left. OK. We could do National Dorma for the football fans. went wild at the cabaret stage. Everyone erupted into a huge round of applause. And I was sat behind Lucy feeling very proud at that moment. It was a great end to my show and I took most of the credit. I'm going to deliver, I'm going to edit the video out so it looks like it happened to me. So, thanks again. Thank you for watching. That's why we're such a good team. That's the end of the song. Well done, that was really great. Oh, that no, was I killed it. Yeah, well, in a good way. Yeah, I didn't really sing into the mic, no, it was a bit get, much. Get the about a bit. Oh, Sometimes I feel my heart will overflow. Cause you know just what to say And you know just what to do But let me start by saying I love you Oh, that's a nice ending to this documentary, isn't it? Well credits. I love you. Aren't you supposed to say it again? What you're gonna say again? Does he say it again? After this. Oh. After the breakdown. After I've had the emotional breakdown.
a kiss. That might be too much to end on a kiss. Yeah.